Hello friends, welcome to learn Microsoft Excel. Today we are going to again use VLOOKUP but in some different way. Before that, let us copy these labels. Paste here. Okay. Then here we have to create drop down list of employee code. Let us create a drop down list. For, for creating drop down list, go to data, data validation, select data validation. Within the setting tab, go to allow list and in source, select the list. Here is the list of employee code. Okay, now all employee code are stored under this drop down list at a time you can check select a one value okay and now let us again apply VLOOKUP formula now the lookup value is this one then there is table array column index is one sorry two and for exact max you can select false as well as you can also set zero. Okay, one zero eight same like this. We can apply this formula here. Only change the column index three same purchase. Now, let us copy paste here formula. Before copy paste formula, you have to uh, use equal to sign. And here the index is 3. Okay. Now, from drop down list, we can directly select value. Let us increase the width of this set is at center ok now like this simply you can create drop down list and create a formula but here one problem is arise suppose uh, I want to store one more record triple one Okay, now again if you check the list, it has only previous record. Then how to update this drop down list at every time? For that purpose, you have to follow one step. Go to home, then here select the tab format as table, select the range and click here format as table. You can choose any format for table. Okay, after that, here let us clear this list. And select one again, uh, once again. This list. Sorry, this one. Okay, now it has. As well as here, we have to change the range because here the range is only till this uh, A1 to D11. You have to change the range, then, then only you will get the result. But suppose here we again create a new list. In source employee code. Okay. 
after that in the lookup we apply formula lookup value then there is table array here we use table hash all then give the column index and after that zero for exit match okay now here is the update suppose i put one more record okay let us see what happened now this let uh, this list get updated as well as this record this vlookup is also get updated like this if you format your data as table then you will directly update the given list and given formula okay like this you can also use the vlookup formula okay this drop down list is also known as dynamic list because whenever you uh, perform any changes on list they automatically this list get updated therefore it is also known as dynamic drop down list as well as this formula is also act as dynamic formula because you update the record or you insert any row or as well as if you insert any column then also it will get updated okay thank you for watching the lecture we will continue in next lecture